When we begin performing significance tests with two proportions, the same conditions as with the confidence interval earlier in this topic apply. A two sample z test for two proportions is similar to its predecessor of one proportion, but has the following differences. First, the null hypothesis changes to be that the null hypothesis is that p sub 1 minus p sub 2 is equal to 0. We're also given the proportion of successes in both samples, which is denoted by p hat with capital C and subscript, so the sample proportion of C. And then the z statistic can be found using this formula. z is equal to our sample proportion, our first sample proportion, minus our second sample proportion, that quantity minus zero, all divided by the square root of our sample proportion with capital C and subscript times one minus our sample proportion with C and subscript times the quantity one divided by N1 plus one divided by N2. And the third condition is that the alternative hypothesis will be that the difference between P1 and P2 is either less than, greater than, or not equal to zero so that it contradicts the null hypothesis. Here's an example for significance tests with two proportions. A company is considering changing its packaging for a popular snack food. The current packaging is blue and the company is considering changing it to green. They want to know if the change in packaging color would affect the proportion of customers who purchase the snack food. To test this, they randomly select 200 customers who are presented with either the blue or green packaging and record whether or not they purchase the snack food. Of the 100 customers presented with blue packaging, 70 make a purchase. Of the 100 customers presented with green packaging, 80 make a purchase. Perform a significance test to determine if the proportion of customers who purchase the snack food differs between the two packaging colors with a significance level of 5 one hundredths or 5%. All the conditions are satisfied since each sampling has 100 customers. And if we were to calculate the product of our sample size and um, our p-value, which would be 70 over 100 for one of them, and then the other one would be 80 out of 100. And if we multiply those together, they will all end up being greater than or equal to 10. The same with n times 1 minus p1 and n times 1 minus p2. So again, that is why all the conditions are satisfied, so we can now write our hypotheses. First, for our, our null hypothesis, it's going to end up being that p sub 1 minus p sub 2 is equal to 0. This means that the proportion of customer purchases doesn't change between the colors. The next hypothesis is our alternative hypothesis. And that's going to be that p sub 1 minus p sub 2 is not equal to 0. This means that the proportion of customer purchases does change when the color changes. And now we can perform a two sample z test for the two proportions. Remember the formula is that z is equal to the quantity p1 minus p2 minus 0 all divided by the square root of our sample proportion with capital C and subscript times one minus our sample proportion with capital C and subscript times one over um, the total number in our first sample plus one over the total number in our second sample. So in this case, our sample proportion for our first sample or first uh, type of packaging for blue is 70 over 100, which reduces to 7 tenths. And our sample size for the first one is 100. Similarly, our sample proportion for the green packaging is 80 out of 100, or 8 tenths. And our sample for that proportion is 100 again. And then the Sample proportion for C is 150, that's 70 plus 80, divided by the total, 200, which is equal to 75 hundredths. 
Next, we can substitute all of those values into our formula to calculate the answer. So our sample proportion for the first one was 7 tenths minus the sample proportion of our second, which was 8 tenths minus 0, all divided by the average of those two, which was 75 hundredths times 1 minus 75 hundredths times 1 over 100 plus 1 over 100. If we put these values into a calculator, we end up getting negative, or about, negative 1 and 633 thousandths. So if we take that z value that we calculated, negative 1 and 633 thousandths, and put it into a z-score calculator with the 5 hundredths and two-tailed confidence interval and press calculate, we'll end up getting a p-value of about 102,469 millionths, and this result is not significant since it's not less than five hundredths. So since the significance level assigned in the problem is five hundredths and the p-value is greater than that significance level, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And because we cannot reject the null hypothesis, we do not have sufficient evidence to conclude that the proportion of customers who purchase the snack food differs between the blue and green packaging.